Hello everyone, welcome to Buildium tutorial. My name is Jana Cristo and today I want to show you how to enter um, beginning balances for each of your bank accounts in Buildium and then how to allocate those balances to either a tenant or to a property owner. Let's start by going to the accounting tab. From accounting, go to banking. And if you haven't already, just add a bank account. I will just add the name of the bank account, but you should enter all this information, including um, if it's enabled for electronic payments and credit cards and the uh, withdrawal li limits. So this is the account and building is asking me to enter opening balances. Okay. You have to enter the balance in your bank account on the day before your accounting start date. And if you remember when you started with Buildium, it did ask you for accounting start date. This is the date when you start recording all transactions in Buildium. So my start date was January 1st and I need to enter the bank account balance on December 31st and say that's $5,000. And here is asking me to allocate the funds to different properties. And if this was, this is a trust account and if I had like 10 properties, I will um, enter the amount for each property. But I will say that ooh, 5,000 is for Main Street and save it. Now, Billiam knows that I have in SunTrust $5,000. But how would I show that this $5,000 belongs, not $5,000, but let's say, um, $2,500 belongs to the tenant. An easy way to do that is go to rentals and rent roll. Find the lease. I just have one lease, but find the lease. And the first thing you have to do is go to financials and enter a charge for the deposit. Okay, well, we set 2500 and you need to specify this is a security deposit liability account. So I will save it, save the charge. So now it should show that the tenant um, has a charge for 2500 Now, this is all good, but I cannot uh, record the payment because it will show uh, m my account actually will increase by 2500 this payment happened in the past and i want to record that that it was in the past so the way to do that will be to issue credit to the tenant okay 2500 and uh, we'll say issue credit for payments previously deposit. And where is this payment coming from? It's coming from the opening balance equity. And I will save it. All right. So that's it. It's, if I go and have a look at the tenant, it shows that um, I am holding a deposit for 2500 So let's look at the property income statement right now. Uh, we have balance of 5000 
security deposit 2500 which belongs to the tenant and initially when we set up the property we uh, set up 300 as a property reserve so now uh, the owner has available 2200 so that's it for this uh, subject if you have any questions about building property management in general or property management technology please ask it in the comments below i'll be happy to answer um, also you will be helping me tremendously if you subscribe to this channel um, and um, also you can ask me any questions you can find my email in the about uh, section of this youtube channel